In Unit 5, we're looking at the conclusion. So this is the end of the presentation. Remember, the audience will keep inside their brain the last things you say. So the conclusion is very important to get your main point very, very clear. Before you get there, you need to signal the ending. We're going to look at how to do that. You need to have a summary of your main points and supporting points, mainly your main point. You may have conclusions and implications about your research or the things that you're discussing. You also probably have question time. It's almost always normal to have question time, but the time is often very short, so you need to use your question strategy to figure out how to quickly move forward. We're going to look at that. We're also going to look at how to invite questions and how to clarify questions, how to handle questions. We're going to look at how to handle criticism because people may say things to you that are negative. We're also going to look at how to take those questions and frame them, that is change them a little bit to be more easier <laughs> to answer. We're going to also look at how to postpone questions and get back to them. After all of that is done, then we looked at how to kind of analyze or think about your presentation. We looked at the score sheet for the presentation and that helps you to think what are the parts of the presentation that I need to pay attention to? Basically everything. But then you can check. Watch yourself on video and see where can you improve. Watch your classmates and see where they can improve. So it's really good to have that checklist to help yourself get better.